Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. So, in the last episode, we finished off Doahan, and our party's still a little bit worse for wear. As you can see, I revived Garrett. However, everybody else is still, is still downed and not currently with us. However, that is not the end of the world. We will be fine. So, uh, we were last, last time in Mars Lighthouse. This was what we need to do next. Which is to set these four spirits aflame. Last time we couldn't come here because we didn't have the Mars star. So yeah, I guess we can start with the fish. So this uh, is like the second you, the second half per se. After you get the teleport lapis and after you just defeat the flame dragons. That's like the first half of the dungeon. And then after that, the second half unlocks, it unlocks. And it's actually really cool. I really like this part of the dungeon a lot. Uh, hopefully we can take these guys out with only three people. We shall see here. Uh, they're actually doing a fair amount of damage, and Garrett is cursed. Unfortunately, I forgot about the fact that he has a thing and has some troubles getting attacks up, you know? So hopefully we can still kill these guys with effectively like two and a half people uh, is about what we have. And if we keep having to pure wish, we might be in trouble. Okay, there goes one. Okay, they're both done. Sweet. What are our Jin looking like? Oh, beautiful. So I'll set all of those on standby then. And you know what? Let's drop a wish just for safety's sake. So this brings us outside the lighthouse, and we are following this path across to a separate spire. So we'll defend... Actually, you know what? We'll summon it with... We're going to summon Iris. Kind of overkill 9000, this, this Minos warrior here. So that's kind of over overkill 9000 on that Minos Warrior. However, Iris has a secondary effect as well. Which is to fully revive and, well, to revive and fully heal both of your parties. So now all the people that were just downed are revived at full health. It is amazing. And it's a pretty serious summon uh, in, in the game. It, it does a lot of damage and it fully heals you. So, like, if you're in a pinch and you have Iris, use it and you'll be pretty much set for life. Ever. Essentially. Human hunt? Okay, thank god that didn't actually work. Ooh, Garrett even got to attack and didn't kill anybody. Maybe I should switch back to... Wow, we are having a lot of Jin set here because everybody except Garrett has Jin on standby, so it takes a while. Maybe we should switch back to our main party, however. Well, this party hasn't really gotten a lot of play, though. Maybe we can play through the rest of Mars Lighthouse with this party. Okay, so let's see here. How are we going to do that? Something like this will bring us to the left side? Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Because down here we have quite a little puzzle. Um, so, let's see here. I think the best way is probably going to do... Oh, I don't know if that was dumb or not. Maybe that was dumb. I'm trying to think. So let's push this up. Take note of the fact that that fire is there, because that is important. Um, if I was to push this bottom pillar up, this bottom log up right now, the fire would come back out that side, and it would melt the pillar there, because the fire would be right next to the pillar, and the pillar would melt. So instead, what we are doing is... What's going to be the best way? I think this might be the best way to do this. Is push that back here. We'll cast Frost on this one from here. Frost. And then we will go down and we'll push that final pillar into place. And that way we'll have all the pillars in place, or all the little log pipe pieces in place at the same time. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do that. I'm not entirely sure. That room can get kind of tricksy. It's really hard to mess up in any serious way because there's no way to permanently fail it and have to reload the room. However, it's still kind of a, a serious deal. So we'll slide right off the edge here and get back to the beginning because we need to light that statue guy's face up on fire. 
and that is going to involve casting Blaze on this torch right about Meow. Get it? Is that the right? Mm, yeah, that'll that. So what that did is it caught the the gas spewing out of that guy's head on fire, and then lit the torch and, and cleared us a path. Because what we were unable to do before was this. There was some stuff in our way. However, now we can actually get over here and move on. So let's see, what else does this place have to offer? I don't remember these trials super well. I'm just kind of relying on the fact that I've done it enough times that hopefully I'll just like have some kind of intuition and or figure out, yeah, this is probably how this is supposed to go. We'll see. It is the end of the game after. Oh, we're at the top of this one already. Well, wonderful. So that is the fish trial completed. I should set Blaze to the right trigger, so we'll be using that a lot. At the very least, at the top of each trial. So we just activated Fish Face here. So the fastest way for us to get back to the land of four doors that we couldn't go through earlier is going to be to retreat and then run through the lighthouse again really fast. However, thankfully, it is actually really fast. Uh, it does not take that long to retreat or to run back up there. So starting from the very beginning, you just run up, you run straight up the middle, and then do this room and you're done. I mean, it's, it's really thankfully very straightforward. Considering how long this lighthouse is and how long the first half is, it's really quite impressive that you're able to just get to the second entire half that fast. So I guess we'll do the dragon next. Might as well get the two bottom ones out of the way first. And then we will go and do the top ones right afterward. Devil Frog, I don't really particularly like you. However, I should probably actually start using real attacks here, like Odyssey and Liquifier. I want to use Liquifier. Hopefully it works. Okay, go, go, Gadget Liquifier. Or Odyssey. Okay, Odyssey first. We've seen that one before, though. We haven't seen Liquifier yet. No, we killed it. Okay, that is going to be my mission from now on. Before the end of this, we're going to have to fight against Garrett's Curse and use Liquifier, because I wish to see it. So we're heading out to another one of these little spire things, one of these accessory walls. Also, I don't have any attacking Jin with Mia. So we'll switch mm, Ivan for appears and see how much damage we can do here. Ice horn, attack, liquefier, and then... Oh no, Serac is on cooldown. Serac is my favorite Jin to use to attack, to try to get like the final attack. I don't know why. I don't think its damage modifier is that much higher. It might be a little higher. I don't think it's that much higher. <gasps> Doesn't that look cool? Also, we killed it. Uh, we got 5,800 experience, though, so it was certainly worth it. Um, okay, note to self. About 500 HP is, like, the limit. So, one attack, maybe, like, an Odyssey? What was I doing in my menus? Oh, yeah, putting a Void on. Maybe an Odyssey and... A Mercury Jin would be good for the Firebirds? That's assuming we, we run into another one. Uh, it's highly possible that we won't. So I believe here we want to start on the left side and use Burst. And then this is going to take us to an interesting location, I do believe. Uh, yes. Lovely. So right here is the switch that we need to move that guy's face to light that thing on fire. So now that 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 is lit on fire, we can come back to the beginning and go through the right path this time. And then we'll be able to use Blaze on that torch that we just lit. Also, I really thought one of those was a Firebird for a second, because I saw so much red and I saw some wings. However, the wings were the wrong type and the red was the wrong color. We were just the wrong place, the wrong time, the wrong enemy, wrong, wrong, wrong. All right, so there's a lot of places that you can jump here. For this one, you want to go along the outside, so that's going to take you to the place that you want to go right now. Which is right here. So luckily, that thing was pretty well-timed. Also, I have Blaze set. So that guy blasts away part of that wall, because he's a nice guy. So, oh, You know what? Instead, we're going to do Glacier. Defend. I guess we can attack, because that might not go through anyway. And then we'll use Hail on the first one. And hopefully they don't run away. 
Also, hopefully they don't kill us. Also, a strict possibility. Uh, okay, that attack went through. How much is this gonna do? 163. That might not be enough. That might not be enough damage. It might not die. And we are... Oh. Oh, it did die. Sweet. Well, at least we got one of them, and we didn't die. 7,500 H experience, though? I'd say that was, that was worth the 30 seconds or so that took to do. Okay, we can heal up. That's fine. So now back to the be beginning again to use Burst on this one this time. Because this now has opened up the final realm of possibilities this room has to offer. Which is actually kind of crazy that you're able to jump across this three different ways. However, none of those paths intersect. Like, you come up this ladder here, you run down the one over here, and then you can get to that door. It's just funny to me that for how many things, how many steps there are, it's impossible to get to that door any other way. Okay, how does this room work? Push that there, and then... I think I want to come down here and do this one? Yeah, yeah, because then we can move this statue. And then we'll go back around the other side, and we'll be happy. Life will go on, ideally. Liquefire, certainly. And... Mist. Mist should probably work. And we should survive now, because we're all at, like, really good amount of, good amounts of health here. All our- pretty much all our Jin are on set, because they all came off of standby. And we haven't really been using them, nor summoning anything. So there's the Glacier, and hopefully the Mist will kill this guy. If he doesn't run away. Okay. I think you still get one more move before Piers gets a move, though. Nope, nope. Sweet, okay. We are getting all sorts of experience here. This is lovely. That's another 8,000. All sorts of levels are gotten by us. So scoot that pillar that way, because ideally what we're trying to do here is block this guy so we can actually get through, because right now, nothing doing. We're just taking damage unnecessarily. <laughs> so now through this one, and we'll be able to push it the final path just like so. Unfortunately, we did have to push that log into the way that actually, like, connected these fire things that set them on fire. That probably didn't make that much sense. We connected the pipes so that fire would actually come out of that guy's face. However, we didn't have a choice but to connect the pipes, because we couldn't progress in the room otherwise. If only we could have, this room would be so much faster. Wow, Garrett, you are not getting affected by your curse very often. I really appreciate that. There's the glacier. We'll take one more attack from it. Fire dance. Sweet. We can survive that. And now he will die, ideally. Sweet. So yeah, just shy of just shy of 500. Just a little bit. Wish well. And where am I? Oh, I'm underneath. I'm underneath the everything. Do a little bit of backtracking here. We don't have to go down the stairs this time, though. However, now, we actually do. No, 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 no. Do not curse me. Do not kill me. I actually I don't care if you curse me, because I'm going to escape the battle before that curse takes effect. I wonder, would that be possible? I'm thinking, what if I got into a random battle right here, and then right after the battle, I ran... Okay, that was a little too close. Something like right here, and then I was to run north. Because the fire hadn't spawned yet. I'm just wondering if that's like a possi possible way. Let's test this out really quick. Now I've got myself all sorts of interested in this. No, that's a little too far. Come on, me. Yeah, like right here. I just need to run into a random battle right here. Come on, Felix, you can do it. Little No, that is not where I wanted to run into a random battle. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to sit here and try this until I get it right. Otherwise, I'm going to have a burning question in my mind the whole time. Okay, not like that. Also, I'm just taking so much damage here. Wish well. This is not how you make a professional Let's Play, but this is how you make a Super Genius Let's Play. So, like, right here or so. Come on, random battle. Oh, I'm coming down a little too far. Step, no, a little stepped up too far. Right here. Can I just... I keep stepping too close to the statue face, and it's pushing me a little bit down. And I, did, I need to be like, oh, this could be it. Firebird, I'll even try to kill you. That's how much I care about you. Well, attack, attack, defend, and... Do I have any? I have sleep. That's all I have left. I'm gonna have to put some gin, some gin on set here so that Piers actually has some people... Some things to use to attack with. 
No, that's unfortunate. So yeah, it has less than 375. Okay, run north, run north, run north. Nope, impossible. Well, at least I'm satisfied that it's not simple to do. And that's all that I really cared about. So now that we have that thing out of the way, that's the final obstacle this room has to offer, we can just escape. I don't know why I spent so much time doing that, because I knew it would have bothered me if it was like, I wonder, is there potential to do this room faster? And maybe there is. I mean, obviously there, there is, because I'm not doing this room very well. However, faster than it's intended to be done, I guess. Like, is there a glitch that you could use? And that is the top of this guy now, too. That is two of four, two of four done. Okay, Dragon, you have been set alight, so I will meet you back at the room of a million doors. And by a million, I mean four. All right, so this time around, we'll go up the left-hand side, finish off this side first with the bird, because the bird is the word after all. So are random battles, apparently. Also, for a second, I thought I didn't hear the music change. I'm like, wait. Do we, do we have the Mars Lighthouse music in this battle? But we didn't. Also, that guy has, like, no HP. He died to... He died to one Titan Blade. What? I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but... That seems a little bit on the weak side, doesn't it? Maybe it's because now all my Jin are set, so I'm doing, like, more damage overall. And it's... I've leveled up a bit as well. So that's a thing, too. Also, are my Jin... Yeah, all my Jin are like standard, standard fare right now. I do want to keep Piers in this party though, because, oh, I'm gonna actually set my thing to Cyclone, because we'll be using Cyclone a lot on this side. Um, it's, it's gonna be faster, significantly faster this way than using Blaze, because I think the only place we use Blaze, mm, that's not true actually. We use Blaze on the top and we use it, I think, in one other spot. However, we use Cyclone way more. Because this is the bird, so like all of these doors are kind of like associated with one element. So the fish was of course Mercury, and the dragon was fire. And now we are in the bird, which is Jupiter. And then there's one other one, which is Earth. And you will figure out what that is. You might have actually already seen it. I don't know if it's been on screen, but I'm still not going to say it. So we need to go down this left side first so we can push this statue all up in the way of that thing. Otherwise, when we come down the other cyclone, we'd be right there in front of the fire, and it would just blow us right off the edge. And then this is going to take us back to the right side at the beginning, which we could have gone up had we wanted to, but that's not where we want to go. So this is, the, the right side here is just a backtracking side, so you can get back to the left side and go the way that you actually want to go. So for our first playthrough, this can take a little bit of finagling might be a good word for it just like some some exploration some trial and error just to see what's what and what's up in the world so let's use Serac on the firebird and see how much damage that does also i should have probably healed with mia in hindsight however hopefully it'll be fine well, i'm sure it'll be fine maybe it'll be fine it could not be fine possibly we'll see that's not helping however if anybody needed to be hit by that it was garrett because he's the most likely to survive. Here's Serac. Sweet, 382. Yeah, that would actually probably kill the Firebird right alone. It does have a really high damage modifier. So that is good to know. I'm glad to know that, actually. So I've always felt that Serac did more damage. Maybe that's why I always used it. Otherwise, it just looked so painful to get hit by <laughs> that I always used it. Regardless, it's good to know that it's actually like a good idea to use it. Is that close enough? That should be fine, right? Yeah, okay, sweet. For a second, I thought I wasn't getting taken away. And this time we'll go up the- we'll go down the right side of the left side, a little oxymoronic. Also, is that close enough? Oh, those are pretty generous, actually, with how close you have to be. I like that. But see, it puts you down right there, so we would have just got blown right off the side of this whole place. There's nothing we can do to get past that fire at the moment. However, that being said, let's not fight these guys, because they are nowhere near as efficient as Firebirds, and we've actually been having really good luck running into Firebirds here. So break out the reveal, and use Cyclone on this here little pad that's out of our way. Are there any times in the game where there's a teleport pad hidden by reveal? I'm trying to think. 
I don't know. See, to me, that always felt like that should be a teleport pad under there. However, this is the cyclone side. However, just I always thought it should be. I don't know if the space is even big enough there for a teleport pad. But I can't think of any teleport pads that are hidden like that. Also, we need this fire to do us a favor and blow us right off the side here. Because there's no other way down from over there. Uh, hurry up. Oh, that will probably work. I don't know why I was so, like, insistent on doing that quickly, but it ended up working out, so it was worth it. Minos Warrior, would you just like to fall over dead? Actually, you will, from this Titan Blade. Or no, you're not the one who dies from the Titan Blade. That's the little Slug Mantis guy. I don't even know what that means. The Todonpa guy. Something like that. The, the Red Toad Face. That's the one that falls over super easily. Also, run out of the way. Um, because that will, if you're too slow, that'll blow you right off the side here. So we're gonna wait one more, and go. Because we need to come down here, use reveal, like, instantaneously, jump across and out of the way before he decides to shoot another thing and knock us into the pit. We actually had more time than I thought we did, but still. So that is the top of... I just use Cyclone, because I'm so used to having Blaze set there. As you can see, though, we use Cyclone a lot, so it was worth it. That is three of four done now. One more, and we'll be done. Alright, so we've done the dragon, we've done the fish, we've done the bird. Now we have to do the man. The earth side. The final spire. The quadfecta of elementals and this is the very last one we do i figure it's best to save the man for last because after all we are man we are felix who is an earth adept we were isaac who was an earth or still is not was who is an earth adept it's just kind of fitting we save his trial or whatever for last that's true this is kind of like i think we want to go through this one if i remember correctly this is kind of like, like Ganon's Trials or something. Uh, we're not doing any boss refights or anything, but it's elemental-based, kind of like the ones in Ocarina of Time are each based on the medallions. Um, all that stuff. It, I like that concept of, like, doing a little, a little just mini-dungeon or mini-trial based on a fact like that. So in this one, we're using all the... For instance, Carrie is currently actually equipped on Isaac. However, I believe it's technically a Venus synergy. It might not actually have an elemental attribute, but we did get it in the Venus Lighthouse. So, in our minds, it's attributed with Venus, if nothing else. And actually, I'm kind of curious now if that field synergy does have an attribute or not. Ivan, uh, show me your synergy. It does! It does have a Venus attribute. Also, did that say can, can or cannot be used in towns? Oh, can. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm like... No, I'm pretty sure that can be used in Town's game. And we were right. So we're making a path here for the carry stone that's across the top, because we need to push that across the top to push it in the way of the fire, all the way over there. A little bit slow going. I think Lash... Is Lash also Venus Elementally based? It wouldn't surprise me. I'm pretty sure Carrie is. Because Carrie is the first synergy you get in the game. Like, the first field synergy, should I say. And here we make good use of sand after we push that guy off so we don't actually accidentally screw up. Felix, use sand so we can hide from this fire, please. Thank you. There's one. Are we too far away? We might be too far away. Uh, nope, we're good. Sweet. So let the fire fully pass by you, so you don't actually come out, accidentally come out a little too early and have the fire just barely clip you. Because that can happen, and it's a sad time. And that is the top of the man trial. It's actually not that I use Cyclone again. I should have set I should have set Blaze. It's not that long of a trial. It's the shortest trial of all of them, actually. So with that, we have done all of the trials... We have one, one more trip to make, however. So we'll go back up the middle here. 
Actually, we're just going back to the room with four doors. However, it's more dramatic if we do it this way, right? Not really, Jake, but that's okay. We like drama. So now that we've completed all four and lit all four flames... The heavens await us. So, next time on Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age, we will beat the game. So, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.